So I saw 1917, I guess, around last week at this point. And uh, I can certainly recommend it. I mean, that's one thing I'll say. I don't know if I'll be spoiling this. I guess I won't be spoiling this. Now, this will, this will be free of spoilers. No spoilers. This is just a recommendation. So I'll say, I liked it. I thought it was very good. I thought it was very historically accurate. They're very, you know, I mean, I thought it was light on the whole, uh, you know, diversity stuff. <laughs> I mean, you know, in terms of it, you have the problems of, well, I mean, you had like, what did I count? Three black people, maybe two or three, like, South Asians, Hindus and all that. Maybe Muslim, I don't know, right? Maybe they're Punjabi, I don't know. And, like, one Chinese guy. Now, the Chinese guy might be unrealistic because, from what I have read, Chinese soldiers that went into World War I did not actually fight. They were mostly carriers. You know, support units and things like that. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe he's, like, a Hong Kong soldier or something like that. If we want to just dream, you know, put some head cannon into it like I'm sure they did, then we can maybe say that they said, oh, well, he's a Chinese guy. Or, I'm sorry, he's a, he's a Hong Kong guy or he's a Singapore guy. It's British soldiers, so I suppose it's possible. I mean, yeah, like the real artillery of Hong Kong and Singapore, I think, had one recruited division. <laughs> so... We'll, we'll just let it pass. But, you know, on that, so it was light on that. But really, I mean, what I liked about it is the, is the, is the direction, mainly. Because um, it's, it's a general kind of war story. Uh, you know, general premise is, oh, you got to deliver a message to this guy through enemy territory. You know, simple idea. Um, but, what, like, for example, what I what I really liked about it when I was watching it, one thing I noticed, one thing I was thinking of, is the fact that it, it, it seemed to me like the camera basically was like following the characters throughout the entire run. It didn't feel almost any moment that it cut. I mean, technically it did, but, well, it might have. I'm not sure I wasn't paying attention to that extent. I only saw it once. But it felt as though it was just following the characters, right? It was just following the characters, a very traditional... Um, I mean, well, technically, it's not fully traditional, but I mean, I, I suppose so, because a lot of, um, because most old films, cameras could not record for as long a time, so it would be kind of common um, to do that or cut around that, but, you know, like I said, it, it followed the characters almost from beginning to end. You see them wake up, and then you see them go, you know, throughout, um, throughout the movie. And I found that very, very nice. It was very easy to tell where the characters are. And really, from what I remember, it only was cutting. I mean, it did cut. I think in a couple dialogue scenes it cut. And other than that, I I only believe it cut when, like, the character was knocked out or something like that. Um, you know? But that was very nice. It was very nice how, how that was. I found that very enjoyable. Um, action scenes were good not overly edited or anything like that like you know good firefights um and i found that i did find the fights enjoy but I, I i think they were mainly good or they mainly felt as good as they did mainly just because of the music because i thought the music in the movie was excellent i thought the music was very good um i can tell you several key scenes but you know whatever this is just a recommendation because i don't want to spoil it for you because it, it, it's exciting. It's exciting and it got me pumped. And I was like, oh, you know, it got me into the mood. It got me into that time. I found it very good, very enjoyable um, for those reasons. Um, I didn't feel it overacted things, um, you know, minor things like diversity. <laughs> I didn't feel well to play it at all. It was there, but eh. Um, the plot is fun. I'm not sure if it's a realistic kind of thing. I'm, I haven't researched that, which I should, but I, I don't know if that's actually a thing that happened. 
may have happened. Yeah, but not oh, funny acting good. I found the general plot fine and serviceable. But mainly it's just the execution there. It's mainly what it is. It's mainly the execution, right? It's not the most unique idea. So I'm a World War I movie. There's no limit to what World War I movies. It's just the execution, right? Like the music, the way it was used to increase, you know, the ambience and effect and impact of scenes. Acting was good. Acting was good. Yeah, it was good. I really don't have much flubs to say with the acting. The guy at the end, I'll just say the guy at the end, I won't say what's I feel like he is kind of me. I mean, he only shows up for a very brief amount of time, but I, I was kind of off put by his performance a little bit. A little bit. But that's okay. Um, main character of the movie, good job. And they did a very good job establishing uh, chemistry with these characters, first off, and also they made me care. They made me care about these characters. Um, and, you know, as things went, and it's World War One, so it's kind of brutal, I was feeling for him. And I, I was really motivated in that movie. I love the ending. I love the ending. And you know what? The ending... You know, I'll just kind of describe my feelings about it without trying to spoil what it is. But a monologue came into my mind, and I just said, you know, these wide-open plains we in Europe have battled across for a thousand years and more. And, uh... You know, hopefully at the end of this slaughter, we may have some days of proper peace. You know, peace without abuse. Peace without question, peace. Peace without decline, just in enjoyment, just, just, just properness, properness at the end. That's what came into my mind when I saw it, and I found it very... I very much liked it. I very much liked it. And of course you can say it is a uh, it's a European movie. It's a white movie. And uh, you can say that. And I very much enjoyed that. And of course it's the same kind of thing Joker in many ways appealed to. And of course it's like what the second highest rated movie right now next to Joker? Yes. Of course. No coincidence. I don't know who made this. Uh, it was like Republic Studios or something like that never heard of them and it's probably because i've never heard of them that they're good that they put at this you know uh, i remember describing shadow of the colossus once in this aspect I, I would say maximum beauty in minimalism and i feel kind of like that phrase applies to this um you know it has a simple objective simple context it just executes it Sublimely, I must say, it's a very enjoyable product, and I recommend it. You know, much like Joker, it's not a, it's not a check it out with the GF movie, nor is it take it out with mom kind of movie, take it out with dad, dry did, or go by yourself and just feel the experience, or or with the bros, right? That's what it's about. So it's about, and it was good for those reasons. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I recommend it. And. I'll just cap it off with that. I'll just cap it off with that before I go off and say anything, anything more or anything unnecessary. Because that's all that's really necessary without spoiling it and discussing those, those things. Recommend it. And, you know, like when you got good things out, you know, it's good to go to the theater. Not only because it's a nice event for yourself or, you know, for others, uh, but also because you're funding. You're funding better content. You're voting with your wallets. In the case of it, this is kind of something where we can legitimately vote for with our wallets. I know a lot of people, I know a lot of people don't like that. Well, things have been changing. Things have been changing. Things have been changing. You know, you have all this SJW blah 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 throughout Star Wars and Marvel and DC and all this poop, and they've been losing money for it, and they've sacrificed money for it, and they're losing because we don't want. And that's why things like this and things like Joker are coming out. And they're coming out because you fund them. Because in the end, this is about money. It is. And though they want their propaganda out there, if they can't make money off it, in the end, they need to make that sacrifice. And those who do make proper content and get public appeal and thereby money out of it, 
and arise? They become competitive and they rise and they overtake the old. And in this case, what we mostly see is the stale and the bad. So, I recommend 1917 if you're a fan of history. If you're, I don't know, just a regular white guy. <laughs> um, you know, you respect your, your countries. Uh, you know, you're, you're whatever. Um, I don't know, you're probably just be a man in general. If you're just a man, you're probably going to enjoy it. If you're a white man, you're probably going to enjoy it even more. Because I'll give you the honest take. I'll give you the honest take. This is who I think this movie is for. And sure, people will cry. <laughs> the sensitivity, you know, you are proper, properly trained on your sensitivity training. And you're, you feel it. I know you do. But it's okay. It's all alright. I'll hold you. Just breathe. Breathe. Take it all in. If you are of <laughs> the characteristics which I mentioned, I'd recommend it for you. I hope you enjoy it. That's all I have to say on that matter.